Um, how many people would support being told where they have to live? Or how many people would like it if the government said that they had to live in a certain place based on certain criteria? I mean, you know, I know uh, North Korea has those type of laws, so why wouldn't they work for us? Well, simply because that just isn't American. We should not have to be told where to live or that we meet a certain criteria and we have to live in a certain spot. <laughs> and America, when you are 18, you are legally in every way an adult. So I think by that criteria, you should be able to live where you'd like. And you should not be forced to live in a certain spot just because somebody says you have to live there. Well, here at Manchester, 73% of the students live on campus. And that is not by choice. That is because the School of Manchester says that all students attending the university have to meet a criteria in order to be able to live off campus. And being married or your parents' primary residence, that's a criteria that you can meet to live off campus. But obviously with 73% of people being forced to live on campus, not a lot of people are meeting that criteria. So what I say is that all students should be able to have the choice to live off campus and not have to meet the criteria. Um, so now, by now you're probably asking, why do I even want to live off campus? What are the benefits to it? Why is the choice going to benefit me? And the first thing is that you can save more money. <laughs> I'm going to run off some numbers here. According to the Manchester University website, it costs $9,250 a year for room and board. $5,500 is for your room and $3,750 is for the cheapest meal plan. Um, according to the U.S. Census, the average cost of an apartment or condo in North Manchester is $604 per month, which breaks down to $7,248 per, per year, and that is if you were living on your own. In most situations, you'd be living with roommates, so say you have three roommates, and take that cost, is going to break down to $1,812 per year, and say that you're spend, still spending $3,750 on your meal plan, you would save $3,688 per year. And to justify those numbers, you would be saving 60% more cash if you were allowed to live off campus. And I mean, I know everybody likes money, so everybody would probably want 60% more cash in their pocket. And another advantage to living off campus is that you could lease an apartment for the entire year. Whereas if you live on campus, you could only live there during the school year, which is typically August to May. So say you have a job someplace off campus, you're going to have to find someplace else to live if school's on session. <laughs> the other benefit kind of goes with what Casey said, in that there could be less trouble if students were allowed to live off campus. Um, like I said, 73% of the students are forced to live on, on campus. So that breaks down to only 378 students here at Manchester can live off campus. And like Casey said, 84% of the people are going to drink in college. That was conducted by CBS News for a 60 Minutes thing on college drinking. So you're probably asking, what would be the benefit of drinking off campus? Well, as Casey said, I mean, students are going to do it. 84% of students do it, 70% report doing it regularly. And I don't know if you guys remember, but at orientation, we went in for an interview and there's a bunch of the upperclassmen things. And they said, if you're gonna drink, do it off campus. Because if you get caught on campus, you get in trouble with the law and you get in trouble by the school. So that would benefit the students more because they would only be getting in trouble by the law if they did get caught off campus, if they were underage and if they would not be in trouble by the school anymore. So you could still play in athletics, you could still do everything else because you never got caught by the school. And um, during the meeting, someone from health services even stated that drinking off campus was a lot better than drinking on campus because it, um, it's a lot better because like I said, students don't get in trouble by two different things, they only get in trouble by one different thing. And I'm going to go to uh, 
Somebody at Schwalm, who was an upperclassman, legally 21, went and drank at a bar and came back on campus and had alcohol in their breath and got in trouble. So even if you're 21, you still can't have anything with you on campus. So that is why it would benefit the students and even if the school, want, the school is telling us to drink off campus, if you're going to drink, then the school obviously wants that as well. The third reason would be that it could also save money for Manchester. And maybe we could build a building like this. That would probably benefit us all. Um, if even a quarter of students decided to live off campus, that would be 256 less students to take, ter to take care of. And according to Sequoia Richards at the University of Mississippi, on a study of pros and cons to the university, she says that allowing students the choice to live off campus could save the school money by being able to save money on electricity, being able to shut down buildings, not having to maintain them as much, and also being able to lay off custodial workers not needing to have as many people to run the campus that way. Um, the cafeterias could also have less food, less workers, because students would be eating off campus, and there would be many benefits to the school getting money. So in the end, everybody is happy. <laughs> Um, students feel that they still have their freedoms, the school is still making money, students are saving money, and in the end it could even benefit the economy of North Manchester because students will be spending more money on gas to drive on campus. They will also be, they also probably won't eat in the cafeteria as much, so it will be benefiting the businesses and uh, restaurants around campus to be a lot cheaper. And here are my references. And I think that everyone should have the choice to live off campus if you want to or not. If you really like it on campus, you like spending money, I mean, that's fine with me. But you should, I think all students are 18 and they should have the choice of where they would like to live. <laughs>